Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see what are the different types of data types that are supported in MongoDB. Try to see it. In MongoDB, we already know that documents are stored as BSON, are stored in BSON, a binary format. So, which is the binary encoded format of the JSON. And using JSON and using that BSON, we can make code procedure calls and all those things. So now if you come to the BSON thing, okay, the so BSON data format, it supports various data types. So let's try to see what types that are supported. So first one is the string data type. Okay. String data type. This is the most commonly used data type in MongoDB. This is the most commonly used data type in the MongoDB to store the data. So B's and strings are of, so these are supported with UTF-8. Okay, I can say that B's and strings are of UTF-8. So the drivers, so the drivers means what I can say, we are using a MongoDB HP. So the drivers for each programming language, so convert from the string format of that language to the UTF-8 while serializing and deserializing this. So the string must be a valid UTF-8. So this is the first document. So anything, so any text data and all those things may have a string data. And the next one that comes is the integer. You, you, you can also have a you can also have another data type that is nothing but integer. You can also have this integer. In MongoDB, the integer data type is used to store an integer value. We can store integer data type in two forms. One is the 32 bit, 32 bit format, and the another one is a 64 bit format. So these are, these are the two things will be supported. So depending on the system, we can store the number value. So the integer value that is also signed integer 32 bit integer format data type is also there in the MongoDB. And the another one what we'll be having is a double data, double data type. So this double data type is used to store the floating point value. This double data is used to store the floating values. Storing the double floating value. So another one what I can say is Boolean. Boolean data type is used to store either true or false. So this one will be storing either true or false. So another data type what I can say is the other one is the null. This null, this null data type is used to store the null value. We can also have another data type that is nothing but null value. So the null value. And another one we can have is the array data type. I can also say that array data type is also there. The array means nothing but we know that it is a set of values. We have already seen in our embed documents when we are trying to do hobbies thing when I am trying to do it. So this is used to store the set of values. It can store the same or different data type values in it. So now array can store the same value, something like string data values or the combination of different data type values also. The array can store it. In, in MongoDB, so if you try to see the array is created using the square brackets. We have already seen this one. Hobbies and bracket and we will be the array data type. And the other data type, so it will support it is the object. I have another data type that is nothing but an object. Object means object data type stores the embedded documents. We have already seen this object data type also while storing the details and all those things. Embed documents. Embed documents are also known as this nested documents also we can say. Embed document or nested documents are those type of documents which contain a document inside another document. So that is the meaning of this one. So this is also this is called as an object. So this data type is also supported. And another one is object ID. We have already seen about this object ID. Whenever, whenever we are trying to create a document, we will be able to see object ID. Whenever we create a new document in the collection, MongoDB automatically creates a unique object ID for that document. Try to see underscore ID you will be having a unique object ID. So there is an underscore ID field in the doc, MongoDB document for each document. The data which is stored in this ID is of hexadecimal format. So it is of type hexadecimal format. That it is of type hexadecimal format. And also what I can say is so it has completely of about and the length of this ID is about 12 bytes. 
is of about 12 bytes uh, 12 bytes what i can say is each byte something like 4 bytes is consists of this timestamp okay 4 bytes consists of this timestamp and in this one 5 bytes like 5 bytes contains of random values okay random values and uh, something like 3 bytes it will be for counter okay 3 bytes say that counter for counter so this is an unique object id is a unique value present in the document so all the times mongodb will take care of creating this object value object id and this will be of length of something around 12 bytes and another one what i want to explain you is so the, another one what we can have is another data type i want is undefined undefined is also sub undefined data type is also supported in the javascript we can undefined is another data type that stores the undefined value next one what i can say is another one is a binary data these are all the different types we binary data so this stores the binary data value something like 1001 will be right? data will be stored in this binary data this is also supported and the another one is important one this one is the date format the date data type stores the date actually is a 64 bit integer which represents the number in the milliseconds recent data type generally supports the utc date time and it also signed data utc data it will support so the value of the if the value of the date data type for example if the value of the date is negative means then it will represent the date before the 1970 normally if you try to see big timestamps after 1970 if you mention the same minus means so it will go before 1970 okay so this is the date format which will we will try to see about these all the data types one by one so and, uh, and another one is regular expression uh, this type of data type is also there so we have already covered this, this regular the data type is also this data type is used in the regular expression regular expression also for storing the regular expression have a data type and uh, we have some other things also javascript data type also so it will for the javascript code the javascript code document if you can use like this we have so on and the last one i want to explain is the timestamp you'll be having an another one that is nothing but a timestamp so this mongodb this data type is used for a store the timestamp is useful when we modify our data a record and the value of this data type is 60 so you need to understand that the value of the timestamp of this data type will be always unique we are trying to insert two documents at the same time so you will never have the two documents of the same of the same timestamp so you can assume that this timestamp is of unique something like object id for a document if you have a timestamp this one will be always it will be a unique so there are mongodb always it will take care of those things too and the last one we will be having is a decimal something like a double we have a decimal this was introduced from the 3.4 onwards i think db 3.4 or 3.4 or 4 so this mongo uh, the, uh, this data type also stores the 128 bit uh, 128 bit decimal based floating value because recently it was these are the different type of data types that are supported in the try to see one by one after but i am trying to tell you that then the document so it support the string integer double boolean null array object id defined by data date expression almost all the i can say these are data types which we are trying to see yeah, these are all there in the javascript itself. we are able to see about this teacher means nothing but will be double is also a number boolean we have null array object define binary data means date we have regular all the things are already present so these are the different types of data types that the document supports hope you understood about the different data types that are available in that maybe have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you